All right, Cherry R N ask, what about those that sell their souls to Satan? I have always been worried about that Hebrew scripture. Thanks. All right, so let me address the second part first. Okay, the Hebrew scripture. I'm not sure what you're speaking about. Are you talking about the book of Hebrew? Because I'm at this moment, I'm not able to make any sort of connection with selling your soul to Satan in the book of Hebrew. If you're talking about the language, you can forget about the language. First of all, me and you were speaking English, or at least I'm trying to. Okay, but it's the only language I know, so I'm doing my best. Now, the ancient Hebrew is a dead language. Modern Hebrew is not as new as modern English. Okay, and and I know, look, I know people are saying that, uh, you know, you'll hear these fools will say, well, God just can't speak the English language. He's too stupid. So, therefore, we got to trust the experts to tell you what God says. I, these, <laughs> it's so stupid. It really is. Uh, you got to depend on experts to tell you what God says. Are you kidding me? God's not able to speak English? Come on. You can trust the Bible you hold in your hands, okay? I want to establish that first. Now, your first part. What about those that sell their souls to Satan? Okay, so I want to make two points here. I want to establish two facts. And the first one is Genesis 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. All right, so man didn't make his own soul. God created that when he breathed into the nostrils of Adam and man became a living soul. So God, he made it, he owns it. All right, and then the first merchant, uh, First mention in the New Testament is Matthew 10, verse 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. All right, and the, that one that can do that, that's God Almighty, right? He's the one that can destroy both soul and body in hell. You know, somebody can come along and kill your body, but they can't kill your soul. Only God can do that. So he's the only one to fear. And if you're born of the Spirit of God, you really have nothing to fear at all. Just continue in love. Love one another as he loves you. Right? Um, so there's really nothing to fear at all. Uh, perfect love casts out all fear. Now, and then there's one more thing I want to show you. Uh, in 1 Corinthians 15, it's written, and so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. So we're all born of the flesh, but we're not all born of the spirit. So once we trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, we are born of the spirit of God. All right, and then we are now, those of us that are saved, are now living in Jesus Christ, and Jesus is living in us. All right, and nothing will ever take that away. So concerning the soul, nothing can ever steal you away from God. So we can have peace. You know, Jesus is called the Prince of Peace. And how can you have peace if you think you can lose your salvation. And then directly to your question, if you think you can sell your soul to Satan after you've been saved and lose your salvation, then you would be wise not to sell your soul to Satan. Right? 